Last time in the Iron Man, we obtained the Avernic Defender Hilt from the Theatre of Blood, pickpocketed elves for an enhanced crystal teleport seed, and to end off the episode, we completed all of the easy and medium combat achievements. Cree Ara Veteran. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Not the one we wanted, bro. No. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Boys, we've got the casket. Three, two, one. That's a that's a real bad one. That's a that's a that's a real bad one. <laughs> Alrighty, eighty three. Now, when we boost in TOA with the dragon pick, we don't need to worry about it dropping down. So we got a guaranteed sixty seconds at least of boosting. If anyone wants to know, at eighty five, you get the next set of max hits for the dragon pickaxe when you're at TOA, so you hit the maximum so you can one down. Um, so that means if we're level 82 and we boost, it takes us to 85, and if it drops down and we've done it, you know, 10 seconds before the buff change, we'll actually not one down. So this way we're guaranteed to one down. Whose spinning sausage is that? Rebel meat spin. It's a chain skirt. We'll take it. We will fucking take it. Dead. Yes, dude. No way. Oh my god. The spoon continues. Holy shit. Yes, dog. We just want Mystic Dusk Bottoms. We haven't got any pieces. Nothing. Triple Ball Sack. Four Ranar Seeds. Manta Rays. Coal. Dragon Dar Tips. Not bad. With the update, we're getting a whole bunch more XP. All the quest rewards have been fixed. Apparently, we can talk to Purdue. Yes. Holy shit. Okay. 224,000 Agility XP. 28,000 Construction. 35,000 Crafting. 26,000 Farming XP. 35 Fire Making. 40 Fishing. 30 Herb. 55 Hunter. 102 Mining. 25 Rune Crafting. 90 Slayer. 75 Smithing. 104 Thieving. Cringe, but he got it. And 66k wood cutting. Yes, please. Will it pop up as a big XP drop? Oh my god. <laughs> it was almost like a mil. 935k that was. Any levels? 83 agility. And that's it. <laughs> uh, that's still so good, bro. That was that felt real good. All the XP per hour is like 1.5 mil. My XP per hour is 29 million. <laughs> Turns out there's also a um another time of experience you get from Ivan Storm. So we'll put into Herb Law and it'll be 15k. Oh wow, we can do it again. Oh my god. 45k more XP. Um, the easiest way to get here is just by using the Dracon's Medallion to verse in Haza. That's the exit just over these ways. And it's just that house there with the trapdoor. This is the entrance here. And then apparently Legends Guild Seb is saying. Uh, is it Radimus? Yes. Oh wow. Cool. Uh, Herb Law. 22k. Wait, we have to do it again? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Um, and then the stranger at top, apparently. And then this fella here. Mysterious stranger gave me an antic lamp or combat. Cool. 89 herb law. I put this off for a very long time and it's currently 1.30 in the morning, but here is 90 herb law. I don't know why in the hell I stayed up for so bloody long, but I wanted to get this done because with 90, we can now make the overload plus in the chambers of Zarek. So now if we don't get one at any point during any like CMs or just in masses and stuff or when you go with normies and they get the drops, I can make a proper one. So that is really amazing. And it looks really cool. So happy days. All right. Let's see what we get. Uh, Plant-based diet and Hesporizant. Oh, a Guthans helm. Oh, whoa. Is that Guthans completed? It is. That's full Guthans. That's her first set. This beefcake. Unreal. Master step unlocked. Is there a master step for a full outfit? I know there's this one. Loot the barrow's chest while wearing any complete barrow's set. So I'm going to do that now. Let's equip this whole set. Loot the chest. Achievement completed. And now they're all degraded. Thanks. Cool. Our first barrow's set. Always fun. Guthans is a good one to get as well. I don't know where I would use it this late into the game, but cool to have. <gasps> no fucking way. We got him. That's all we get. All right. We got slippers. Woo. I think we're going to keep them yellow. I think purple is... Not the ticket. I haven't used this since they've gotten rid of the tree either. It's going to be exciting. Look at this. Ready? 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 Oh, we can use the fairy ring from this side. That's unreal. Why do you always hit 20s? An 81? With the, with the fucking DWH? Holy tits. We haven't seen a level from the birdhouses in so long, but here one is. 84. Uh, no unlocks. That's cool. Oh, 135. Fucking get clapped, idiot. 
Oh, 140. Holy shit. See ya. 100 kill count and the end of the task is going to be diamonds. Yay. You would turn right, wouldn't you? What is that hitbox? Excuse me? Oh, I hit 200 million XP. I didn't even notice. What the hell? Oh, 93 farming. Let's go. Hardcore Raiders. Wow, we're unreal. That's 40 KC. All right, the nudists. It's going to be Missouri right. Mask. Not a ward. It's not, not a ward or a ring. That's true. How much is a Missouri Mask going for these days? 26 mil. 27 mil. Is that all? Wow. Been doing a little bit of AFK fletching just in between random stuff. That's why I haven't recorded any levels, but we're up to 83 now. So that's three levels from where you last saw. Got 3,000 maples left. That's not enough to get another level. So I'm not sure if I would turn them into longbows or not. But the goal is 95 for the diary, but we won't be getting that anytime soon. I have 527,000 rune crafting XP I have to do. Oh, a Torex Helm. I already have that. But got to back to back it now. Oh, 95 attack. Expert Tomb Raider, 50. Let's go. Gargoyles in the Slayer Tower. Does that mean I can do the Grotesque Audience? First GG kill. Wow, wow, we were two minutes. Red Eye Dust. Wow. We got four achievements just there like that. Uh, two hards and one elite task. Oh, I got 89 runecrafting. Whoa. Oh, yes. We got the lantern. Thank the lords. 1,574 pulls, 542 games, and we finally get the lantern. Probably the only thing that I um, <laughs> have been super unlucky on, <laughs> so I can't really complain. But um, we're happy with that. We're happy. I'm not sure what logs to put in it. Um, I think I think U is the best for me at the moment. 10% um, chance to double your contribution points for an action. Increases point contribution cap by 10%. When I get Redwoods, I can do it, and it stops my thing from going down. All right. Use into the lantern, and there we go. We finally have the lantern. Interesting. I guess we could go for some kits when we get the fang. Tumikin's Guardian, 108kc. Pretty cool. Wait, can you metamorph it straight away? Oh, okay, no, you can't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I like the other one. So we got the Tumikin's Guardian. Um, in the clip, I don't sound excited whatsoever. I am excited. Um, the only reason I sound a bit flat is because I've been doing TOA experts and normals for the past week, all day on my streams, and just haven't got purples. I've done about 50 experts. About 10 to 15 normals. We haven't seen any purples. So it's just a little bit demotivating. And then getting a pet roll is just a bit of a kick in the dick. <laughs> and continuing to kind of get the transmogs for it. Because that requires you to do invocation 450s. And have every invocation on for the boss transmog that you want. But this guy is pretty cool. Um, you can change him straight away to one of each type. Whether it be the Tumikins or the Elodinus. But I like the Tumikins. I think he looks a bit cooler. But um, he's just going to get put into the house. But I'll run him around at GOTR for a while. Currently 174k XP away from a level. This should be the final game before we reach level 90. There it is. We can now craft soul runes. And we can finally upkeep our... Uh, Tumikin Shadow. So I'm going to go do a bit of that. Um, now as well, we've reached the next cap at ZMY to get a few more soul runes for the essence. So I've got 6,000 Dale I want to use. I may as well use that as ZMI. And then we do have some pure essence. I don't know if I'll do much of ZMI. I don't care that much for it. Um, we do have 200 pulls. If we get the pet from this, I will just do normal rune crafting. Um, and then if by chance we get the pet from normal rune crafting, we will probably come back to GOTR because it's a bit more reclined. But we'll just see. I might find out that I actually really like ZMI now, especially with the outfit. I'm not sure if you use the outfit still or if you use Graceful for the run effect, but I'll have to do some Googling. Grotesque Guardian Adept, 25 Kilwanis. Perfect Grotesque Guardians too. There it is. Yeah, from dust, task completed. I think that's 10 in a row. Ah. What? There we go. A little bit scammed there. Had to do 21. A little bit fucking scammed. And so I can just pump this kid here. Big hit again. Bang. Do it. Nice. Finish him off. This has got to be it. This has got to be 140. You'd be worried if it wasn't. Yeah, 136. Thanks for that, mate. 50kc at the Grotesque Guardians. 
a veteran. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Org, Freezer, and General Showdown. I don't know what the second one is, but cool. Three of the most lovely caskets you will ever lay your eyes on because these are going to be plenty. Plenty full of loot. Plenty full? Sure. Easy? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hard. Bandos, Kite Shield. Elite Clue Scroll, good luck. Alright, well that was um interesting. Commander Showdown, kill Ziliana while all of her bodyguards are dead. Pretty much just run around the room, get all of her bodyguards low, then get the boss low, quickly kill the minions, then kill the boss. Have been doing a mixture of Giant's Foundry and Blast Furnace, and there should be 89 smithing. I've jumped a few levels because I've just been doing it uh, kind of passively, and I was kind of just in the zone so I didn't have the recorder up. With 89, we can now make rune darts, and it's also an elite diary step. So once we add these feathers, it should be there, the elite Varrock step. The rune darts make a massive difference, especially in the theater of blood. I'm not sure the exact damage difference, but the numbers I'm hitting are far more consistent now. Um, and Bean over there says that it is a massive difference between adamant to rune. The four-man master speed task is complete. Oh, no purple. Kill Kree with her minions dead complete, just the same as you do with Zilly. I can get comboed, but I'm being a man. Hog. <laughs> 91 cooking. As you look at the top left, we have 913,000 experience gained. I tried to do a 1 million XP drop, but I had to go AFK, so I only got about 700k. So I decided not to do a full million, but this does help us get the Varrock Elite Diaries done. Don't burn the pie. And there's the task. This sound is fucking horrid. I mean, this is horrid, horrid. If anyone did this with the sound on, I would be very amazed. But here is the task completed. On to the next one, crafting 100 earth runes. There we go, we have completed the elite Varrock Diaries. Now we've got to go speak to Mr. Toby. This is our boy Toby. Now, the XP lamp. I know it's going to piss some people off, but I'm actually going to start putting it into agility because the faster I can get to the arty course, the better. Or even the faster I get to 85, then I can boost with the pies and just see how it goes. The Varric Armor 4 means we can claim 120 battle stabs from Zaft every day, 7k each, which we don't do anyway, so it doesn't really matter. 10% um, chance of mining two of any ore, and then it says with some exceptions, um, and you get XP for both the ores. 10% chance of smelting two of any bar at once when using the Edgeful Furnace. It acts as a prospector jacket, and the Skull Scepter now holds up to 26 charges, and it looks pretty cool. So now when we power mine own, we can use this for the double ores and get the XP bonus. All right, this mine should get us to the next level, 84. Uh, this also gets us to 2100 total levels, so nice and clean. Power mining iron gets us around 55 to 60k XP an hour, so it's still going to be a fucking lot until we get to 92. I think it's around 45 hours, um, but I'm not going to do it all in one sitting. I'm going to do it over many nights of just AFK boredom try chip at it but this is the main reason we got the varic armor we may also break it up um, and do some mother load mine if we need to afk mining but the main goal for the iron ore is to get 240 minerals that way we can get the mining gloves ready for the day we get amethyst perfect ampican and perfect Jeffrey. face him no way wait oh he's a gamer <laughs> <laughs> That's the god skip. What? Did he just not give me one or did I accidentally click dismiss? Excuse me? What has happened? What? Bro, hit the numbers. This is it. This is it. Perfect Zolra. Get that up, y'all. That took longer than it had to. Way longer. Perfect Zolra is a master combat achievement. It requires you to take no damage from Snakelings, Venom Clouds, and Zolra on the wrong phase. This is pretty easy. Um, in a sense, it is a little bit RNG if you don't have like super defensive gear. The hardest part is the Snakelings. The way I did it is I swapped to my blowpipe anytime there was a Snakeling phase. Obviously, just try to kill them as fast as you can. The best way is to pray Mage because they can spawn as melee, range, or Mage, and you have the least Mage defense. I found that if you got rotation four, it sucked ass. So if I got rotation four, I would just log out and log back in and then you'd be outside of the instance. 
Rotation three seemed to be the easiest for me. It seemed like they had the least amount of snakelings. And I did just the bow for only, man. 85 mining. We now don't have to use the dragon pickaxe special attack when we are doing the boulders inside of TOA. That's going to do it for today's episode, boys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, I do stream this live every day on Twitch. The link is in the description. Feel free to drop a like if you liked the video. And always, the comments mean so much to me. I'll see you boys next week. Thanks for watching.